In this box, I have my kitty cat. And in this box, I have my wedding flowers. So I need to leave in like 15 minutes to go to work, but these showed up this morning and I really wanna crack into at least the bridesmaid bouquets. So I have bridesmaid, bou bridesmaid bouquets, I'm pretty sure that's what's in here. Um, corsages in here. And then I'm pretty sure the bottom box is gonna be my bridal bouquet. We already got the boutonnieres last week in a separate order because um, the boutonnieres came from a warehouse in Santa Fe Springs, which is near us in Southern California. Uh, this bigger order, I think, shipped from Philadelphia. Obviously, it took a little bit longer to get over here. But I'm really itching to look at some flowers to kind of boost myself up before I go to work. So I think I'm going to open this box and then do the others when my fiance gets home from work tonight. All right. a little easier to open than I thought. I'm pretty sure this is either going to be bridesmaid bouquets or my bouquet. So let's see. Yep, I was right. These are the bridesmaid bouquets. So it looks like these are the ribbons. Oh wait, no, I think this is my bouquet. Just kidding. <laughs> Oh, that's exciting then. Instead of saving the best for last, we're starting with the best. Okay, I'm really excited now. So it looks like these are like thicker ribbons and then these are thinner ribbons to tie around it. And this is interesting. Um, not sure how to handle this, but I'm gonna try and be very careful. Okay. So I will have to fluff it up a little bit. And I'm hoping these are like wired flowers. Look at how pretty though. So this is the Sunset Terracotta 11 inch Cascade, because it go down, goes down like that, bridal bouquet. I don't know if that's gonna be in focus right now. Let's see if I can focus it a little bit more. And it looks like this attaches here. That is interesting. No, okay, the cat wants to play with it. It's not a toy for you. This is so not for you. Please do not touch this ever again. <laughs> I'm gonna have to hide these. Um, yeah, so there's like little bits of like glue. No, honey, oh my goodness, kitty cat, no. Okay, but yeah, I really like the, the orange. I really love this Dahlia. Got a little bit of threads on it. So I'm gonna fluff this up later when I get back from work. I don't know if you can see my cat right here. She is incredibly interested in these. Okay, I'll fluff this up later and show you what it looks like with everything attached. I feel like these are supposed to be like ranunculus. Obviously we've got roses. My first impressions are pretty good. Pretty good. Okay, I didn't attach a handle because I'm gonna put this back into the box when I go to work in a minute. Um, but I just wanted to show you real briefly kind of the size. So this is 11 inches, a 11 inch cascade bouquet. And I was like, oh, maybe that's not gonna be as big as I want. But like, as you can see, I'm fairly petite. I'm 5'2", so. <laughs> This is a lot of flowers for someone of my size. Um, I'm really happy with it so far. Um, a few of the flowers have like stringy bits to them, which I'm not a huge fan of. But I think the overall impression, I'm pretty happy with like the overall effect, like the colors and the shape and the amount of flowers you get for $100. This bouquet is $99. And the florist I met with was the bridal bouquet was going to start at 150 for real flowers that are going to die and that I can't reuse here in my living room. As you can see, this kind of goes with my living room colors. Uh, it was very easy for me to choose wedding colors because I'm like, I know what colors I like. Plus, this has a lot more than just like white flowers, which is very standard for like bridal bouquets. I'm kind of standing weird because I don't know <laughs> where I am in the frame, but 
I think, I think this is gonna be it. Especially like seeing it in my living room. Like, I feel like, I feel like this is gonna be it. Cause I really do wanna like keep my flowers after the fact and use them more than just one day. So, it's so pretty. So I have to go to work. Um, but when I come home or when my fiance gets home, we'll look at the, the bridesmaid bouquets and the, um, sorry, I'm just kind of obsessed with holding this even without the handle on. <laughs> and the corsages. I will do a better close up later, but I just wanted to capture kind of the initial close up. All right, it's later in the day now, and these are gonna be the bridesmaid bouquets. So again, we got some ribbons, but they're a little thinner this time. Like these aren't as thick as the bridal bouquet ones. And there's like a, what is this? Oh, this one comes with like instructions on how to refresh your bouquet. They're like, Whack it against the wall. Whack it. <laughs> Whoops, I just threw that on the ground. No. Please open it for the camera. Thank you. So that's good to know. I'll have to read that later. Oh, I knew you'd have to use a hair dryer. I knew what? it. What? Yes. Typically for I'm stuff that's like hair plastic. drying. <laughs> yeah. None of the foam <laughs> flowers look too bad out of shape. It's just the silk ones that have little um <laughs> this was clearly undone. Not a fan of that. It's just the, the silk ones that look a little worse for wear. Can't I need a third hand? Do the big reveal. My fiance, everybody. They look pretty. Let's yeah. see. I'm going to take one out and see how it goes. These parts had shoes. I think that was definitely got like smashed as this was flipping Yeah, clothes. that's a little bit of an issue, but let's, I'm going to take some, one of them out. So yeah, this is just one of the bridesmaid bouquets. It's really pretty, honestly. I'm actually quite impressed with this Sunset Terracotta's collection of um, greenery. It looks a lot it looks realistic to me. Like some of the other greenery looked kind of fake, but this one, I feel like, cause it's kind of like dusty, it actually looks real. Or at least it doesn't look like horribly fake. Well, I like these little jewels in here too. Like that's not something you would get with a typical bouquet or a real bouquet. You get these little embellishments. So that's fun. They need a little fluffing up in certain places. Like that rose needs some work, but I was worried about the foam roses, but actually the foam roses look pretty nice in real life. Okay, so we saw the bride bouquet with me earlier. This would be the smaller, like, I think these are supposed to be seven inch bridesmaid bouquets. I'm gonna not get the power outlet in this shot. So that would be the sizing on that. Still pretty substantial, especially with all the greenery. Just a lot fewer flowers, obviously. I think it's pretty. Okay, so then next we have the corsages, which are going to be for a couple of the ladies on Nathan's side. Would you like to do the honors? Sure. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is that I'm gonna grab it like that. I'm gonna go, no, I'm not gonna do that. That definitely makes sense. <laughs> that is exactly how I would handle the situation. Yes, it sounds like you. Ta-da! See flowers. <laughs> Thank you. So you can only buy them in like groups of six. So we have we're gonna have some extras, obviously. But I think they look really pretty. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. That wasn't as best as I can make it, but my voice is tired from working all day. <laughs> Should we lift one out? Mm-hmm. What, what are you doing? I'm trying to figure out the best way to do this. Very pretty. Whoops. Would you try to get it to focus? All right. 
So it's like a bracelet on the other side, it looks like, instead of just like a typical corsage where it would be elastic. Yeah, it can literally like... I mean, like a neat necklace. Can you put it on me? You're not a... Oh, sorry. No, go for her. <laughs> I'm only going to be your wife. <laughs> Also, we never went way. to prom, so you know that's because true. we didn't meet in high school. So you know, yeah, that would be why we didn't go to prom together. We did go to a dance in the business building. We did, but I never. I guess what I'm trying to say is, I never went to prom. Period. So I never I got a corsage. Personally, I don't think you're missing out. I think that was better than a prom. I never had a prom date. Anyway. <laughs> oh, see, if you're me, hold on. I have. Okay, so do not take this as true sizing. I have really small wrists, I so this would fit. Oh. bracelets never fit me correctly. You, you. Like I just ordered a bracelet, and I'm Ugh. almost 100% certain it's not going to fit me correctly. So yeah. Yeah. these would probably fit a normal person. There we go. So yeah, if you're me, this is going to flop around on your hand. <clears throat> but if you're if you have normal size wrists. This would work a lot better. I think they're pretty. Yeah. The orange is a bit a lot. Too much. But but the fact that it's like an actual bracelet is kind of nice. Yeah. Maybe it doesn't want to focus though. And it says things like my sisters forever. Wait, what did it say? It says my sisters forever. Because uh, I think some people have their bridesmaids wear um, corsages because they are cheaper. Yeah. Than a whole bouquet. What does this say? My sister's forever. <laughs> yeah, maybe they're intending these as like bridesmaid corsages, but um, like I'm gonna give my mom one. My mom probably won't be thrilled about the orange because she doesn't like that color, but she likes white. <laughs> so these are cool. Yeah. I like the gold leaves. Yeah, <laughs> you can take a picture of me wearing it backwards. Okay, so then the last box, and this was actually the first box that showed up uh, in our order are the boutonnieres. So these, of course, are going to be for my fiancé and his groomsmen uh, and my dad and all of that. Okay, so I just decided to pull out the one that was easiest to get to, but this is one of the groomsmen boutonnieres. Um, so lots of greenery, little jewels to match the other bouquets, and it's got a foam. I think this was the amber rose. So I think the roses are the color amber in the Sunset Terracotta collection and then of course over here you can see the pins and my cat is deciding to play <laughs> uh, and then it's got like some twine and some burnt orange ribbon and some other greenery and stuff so that is the groomsman boutonniere or the father's boutonniere whoever you're giving these to and then this one is marked as being for the groom so it's got a few more of the rose leaves um, and the fo foliage and all of that, and it's got more of the jewels. So it'll it, the flowers about the same size, I think, but all of the extra stuff along the sides is a little bit more. And I just realized this one doesn't have a, a ribbon on it, um, which is kind of a bummer, but it does have more jewels. So I'll point that out to Nathan and see if it bothers him. We do have like one extra of these, so if he doesn't want to wear this one, he could, and he wants to have the ribbon, he could wear one of the groomsmen ones. But I think he'll, he already looked at these and he liked this one, so. But yeah, does, the grooms one doesn't have the, the burnt orange ribbon like these do. So that's just something to note. But yeah, you can only order these again, like the corsages and the bouquets. Um, you can't really order, uh, I think you can order like a set of two if you only need two, but the other, we needed more than two. And so we just got six and so we'll have one extra. Okay, it's the next day, hence the outfit change and hopefully better natural lighting. But I just wanted to kind of showcase the sizing of the bridesmaid bouquets compared to the, um, the bridal bouquet. So again, this is like a seven inch bouquet versus the bridal bouquet, which is supposedly 11 inches. Um, it's definitely a lot daintier, but I like how like there's so much greenery with the bridesmaid bouquets. Honestly, I wish there were like these things in my bouquet as well. But yeah, I like how it's kind of like the bridesmaid bouquets have the um, like the white, and the bridal bouquet has more color to it. I really like color personally, so that's kind of cool. These also like fluff up really quickly 
or like kind of settle into how they're supposed to look really easily, which is nice. Um, like on this one, the silk rose kind of smashes up a bit, but other than that, like everything else like looks fine to me. Um, the stems definitely look fake, but I'm just gonna instruct people to hopefully hold them and cover up the stems. <laughs> And then with the bridal bouquet, I actually put the handle on. It feels nice and sturdy. It's not too long either, which I like because I would want to hold it more like this. And so having kind of a short handle helps with that. Um, I'm having issues with my camera focusing, but yeah, this is how it would look with the handle on. And it screws on really easily, so that's nice. But yeah, that is more about the bridal bouquet. I'm, I'm really liking these. Take this sideways shot just to show off all the aspects of it. Hopefully, <laughs> again, the what do you call it? The stems look pretty fake, but I would just hold it and cover that anyway. And I'm gonna hold this one specifically like this anyway. Something that I think works particularly well with this sunset terracotta collection is that the greenery is more textured and not shiny. So that does make it look a little more realistic, especially like this faux um, eucalyptus, I think is what it's supposed to be. Like the fact that it's not shiny means that it's, it doesn't look so fake. So, but like on the silk flowers, you'll be able to see there's like little tatters here and there, especially on, on this dahlia. But honestly on camera, you really can't see it as much. And realistically, I know people do up close shots of their bouquets, but like those aren't the photos I'm going to be sharing forever. And these foam roses, so the ones that look like a little more structured, I was worried about those looking super fake, but like seeing them in person, they actually look better than the silk ones, honestly. Anyway, I'm really happy with this and I just wanted to comment on the faux greenery because I know sometimes it's the greenery that can make the fake flowers look a little too fake but in this case with the sunset terracotta like I like the texture to it and then yeah as I pointed out the end of the stems do look pretty pretty not real but the the stems are short enough that I feel like one of my hands is going to cover this anyway so it's not a big deal to me it might be a big deal to you but to me it's not and then I like the underside of this too with the eucalyptus that's cute keep like distracting myself with this bouquet. I really need to put it away so that I don't break it before my wedding, which is still four and a half months away. <laughs> I don't know how I'm gonna keep my hands off this thing. Hey y'all, it's a couple of months later and I have one more package from Ling's Moment to share with you. Um, I did contact their customer support at some point to ask them about the missing ribbon from that one boutonniere. They did give me a little bit of a discount off of it. Um, so that was kind of nice. Uh, these are just a box of their regular foam roses. That's all it is. It's not pre-assembled. This is something that you could use for a DIY project. Um, what we are going to use them for, hopefully, are our cake flowers. So we tried to get a quote for fresh flowers from our florist who's doing our centerpieces. Um, they did not get back to us, so we're like, whatever, we're going to do what we want. We asked the baker. They said they could use fake flowers. So. I got this one really discounted because it happened to be on sale and it happened to match our color scheme. I was going to originally get just like one of the sample packs, but I think because right now it's November, they discontinued the sample pack in our color scheme, which is a really autumn color scheme. But anyway, I basically got this whole pack of roses for almost like just a couple dollars more than like one of those sample packs that only has a couple of flowers in it. So... I think I paid like $9 or something, so like $13 with shipping. So let's go ahead and pop this yes, open. This is the 25-piece uh, foam roam, foam roam? Foam rose set. Uh, this apparently comes in 59 different colors, and this combo is burnt orange and warm taupe. And let's see if I can figure out how much I paid for this. I ended up paying $7.92 for these because they happened to be on discount for like $9.99 already, and then I think they were running a early Black Friday day promotion. So I can't talk today. I'm really sorry. So all said and done, I got all of these for 14 bucks. So 
always click through and see like if your chosen color scheme is actually cheaper than the other ones because some are obviously more popular than others. So yeah, I think these look really great. Um, they're, I'm not going to pull them out of the box. I'm just going to keep them as they are, but there's some leaves in here that you could use as well as obviously all 25 of the roses. So we'll use a good chunk of those and the flower leaves on the cake. I think they'll look really nice with our color scheme. And I would have preferred a little bit more variety from that like sample pack that I told you about. But I mean, these are a great alternative too. And not everything at our wedding flower wise is gonna like matchy match. Cause like I said, we got live florals for our sweetheart table and the centerpieces just cause that was already included in our package. And those are gonna probably be white hydrangea, uh, Kahala rose, which is kind of like a peachy rose and some eucalyptus. But um, and then you saw the bouquets and the boutonnieres that we're using. So those are a little bit different than that. And then these are all a little bit different than that. But I feel like I like the dynamic quality of having a lot of different flowers going around. So I think these are going to per work perfectly well for cake flowers. We'll use any extras probably for extra decorations. I don't know how many more decorations we really need. But if I can think of anything to do with these, I will. But I am actually really impressed with their foam roses. I need to pop the first row of roses right out of there just to show you how these are coming here. They all each have their own um, like paper wire to it. And so you would just shape that and place it however you would want to do that in a floral arrangement. So yeah, I'm actually quite excited about these. So I'm going to go ahead and wrap this video up here. Let me know if you have any questions about Ling's Moment. You've seen kind of the individual flower boxes like this one. You've seen some of the prearranged flowers and the boutonnieres and all of that. I'm really happy with these. I think they're going to look great on our wedding day. So let me know if you have any questions about the process with them. Um, I'm not going to be doing a whole lot of DIY with them because I don't think I'm particularly talented in that realm. But if you do have any questions, leave them below and I will try to answer them as best as possible. But thanks for watching my little flower unboxing. I hope you enjoyed and I will talk to you in the next video. Bye.